Hello and welcome back to chapter 2, lecture number 11. So we ended up with this dice model. Uh, we added a subdivision surface and we added the holes and we ended up with this. So in this lecture we will add a material color for the dice and add a different color for the holes. And how that works you will see that in this lecture. So I mentioned that the modeling work is pretty good to handle in the workbench because we have nice looking shading and we can see each side uh, very well without flatting it because we have a lack of shadows. But now I would like to work with materials. And for this, I like to switch to Eevee. There we are. And you can see the what, what I try to mention about the, the shading and the color. Eevee is amazing but for the real modeling work it's sometimes a little problematic and that's why I'm in love with this workbench it's uh, exciting so enough talking what I like to do is I go to the material tab and you can see there is a material applied and if it's not if you have it like this you click new so we call this main underscore color right there and let's give this dice a red sort of a red color maybe a bit darker something like this okay so it's still not looking fancy and that's because we need to do add another color and work with the lighting but to have a little shadow outline, I'm going to add mesh and a plane. We scale this. That helps a little for me to see the coloring. All right. So I want to fill this hole with a white color. And how we do that is select this dice. We go to the modifier tab and we hide the, the subdivision surface. So it looks like this. And we click tap and go to the solid mode. Right. And what we need to do is press B and select all of these holes. Yes. And we can do this pretty quickly. Oh, don't select everything. All right, there we go. And the bottom, press, push it a little upward. You know, let's hide this plane. Press H to hide it. And now we can select it. It's a little problematic to add that plane in an early stage. So if we select everything, yes, you press Alt H and the plane is back press G Z to turn it on the move it on the plane so we've selected all the holes we press tap we go to the material tab and we click plus and we call this hole core or let's say just white because I don't want to change this anymore all right, okay, and da, 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 da. we press tab and we click assign. And if we go to the modifier tab and enable the modifier and we go to the render view, you can see the holes are perfectly white colored. Um, just how I want to see this. Um, pretty good. So we have the dice with the white color and that's it for now. In the next lecture, I will make some variations. So we create a green dice and a blue dice and we make a simple scene so we can light it with Eevee and then make a render. So um, still a lot of things to do, but we can do this all in one lecture because we, uh, yeah, we work pretty quickly. So uh, see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.